The article could fit in a textbook as an example of confirmation bias, of working backward from the desire to find something to be true. Piling conjectures on top of giant assumptions, Dickinson lends full support to the idea that this map, a series of dots drawn blindly under hypnosis, indeed matches the supposed locations of life-supporting stars clustered between Earth and Zeta Reticuli, and that therefore it was likely to be the home planet of these aliens. Not long after this article, Terence Dickinson was fired as the editor of Astronomy Magazine. These days, the staff refers to this as the Zeta Reticuli incident, a crippling blow to the credibility of the young magazine. Research gradually uncovered that the star catalogs had many of their distance calculations wrong that the binary stars were too close together to support biological life as we know it, and on top of it all, no planets could be found in the Zeta Reticuli star system. No less an authority than the late Carl Sagan debunked Marjorie Fish's map, noting the stars in our sky appear in such number and variety that you could find a match in almost any random series of dots if you wanted to see it badly enough.